What is up guys? Welcome back to the match review for Chelsea 3, Real Madrid 2, 5 for one aggregate to Real Madrid who proceed to the Champions League semi-finals while Chelsea are out. Sad day, I know, but in all fairness, I'm not disappointed. I mean, our boys did everything in their power. First of all, fair play to Real Madrid, congratulations on making the semi-final. But how do we go from losing 3-1 at home to leading 3-0 at the Santiago Bernabeu? It's absolutely crazy what we were able to achieve last night. And the way we dominated the game and the way we showed up to that game was absolutely phenomenal. And to be honest, Thomas Tuchel is the best manager in the world right now. I don't think Guardiola or Klopp would have been able to go to the Bernabeu under these circumstances and be leading 3-0. I do not think any other team can do that right now. The fight we put up was crazy. I mean, let me let me start from the start. I mean, yeah, that's where we start. We start the game in a very aggressive fashion. We are pressing high. And so are Real Madrid. It was a very cagey game at the start. I was still a bit nervous. I mean, we all were. We all were optimistic that we could win, but we weren't sure. And then Mount scores in the 15th winner, and we're like, we're winning. You know, that really sets up the tempo, and we dominate the rest of the first half, even though we don't score. And then the second half begins, six minutes in, corner, Runiger header, heads it in. That might not have been a corner, but hey, referee awarded it. That's how it works. Corner, Runiger scores, 2-0, 3-3 on aggregate. Chelsea fans going crazy. We are all going crazy. We're like, you know, we're winning this again. We're winning this Champions League. And then we go on the attack again and Marcus Alonso scores. At this point, we're jumping off our seats. We're, you know, just jumping, shouting, doing whatever. But then there's this tiny little sign of a handball. And that is very debatable, to be honest, whether that was a handball or not. Personally, I think there is that bit of a flick. That there is some contact between the ball and the hand. But I don't know whether that's enough for it to be a handball. Anyways, goal is disallowed because of the handball. But then we have the man, Turbo Timo. Turbo Timo. Dummies one defender. Dummies another. Shoots, deflection, fall, and Mendy can't save it. And it's in. 3-0 Chelsea. 4-3 on aggregate. Only 15 minutes left, and we think we've won. We think we've won. But here is where the problem starts. Real Madrid makes some changes. Rodrigo comes on. Camavinga comes on. And I was honestly happy with Thomas Tuchel for not making any changes until that point. Because it was working. I saw no need to change the system. But then, in my opinion, he makes the biggest blunder of the game. By subbing on Pulisic for Timo. That was the biggest blunder of the game. I'll come to that in what in a, in a minute. But then Real Madrid go on the attack. Modric with a brilliant assist. Let's not take anything away from that. Outside the foot, lobbed pass. And Rodrigo's just there and shoots and scores. And out of nowhere, Real Madrid have scored one and equalised the tie on aggregate. And to be honest, this game we saw no Mendy wonders. You know those moments when you think it's a goal and Mendy just turns up and saves it. And, you know, he he's, he, he is Mendy. I, that was missing today. And Rodrigo scored. Mendy is just standing because he's in shock. He he doesn't know what he'll do. And out of nowhere, the Bernabeu erupts and Real Madrid are in this. They're back in this. We have 10 minutes. We try to score. We have two great chances. And this is where I come back to the biggest blunder of the game. When you get a chance within the box, a simple touch... In the 90, well, in the end 80s minute, to win your team the game to go to the Champions League semi final, you just can't miss. I mean, you can't miss, you know? Well, that is exactly what Pulisic does. Twice, in fact. Twice he misses a chance to put Chelsea in the semi final, and that leads us to extra time. We dominated this whole game, 90 minutes, even after Real Madrid scored their first goal. We dominated this game, but now we're heading into extra time, and we're tired. And then in extra time, the tiredness shows. 
96th minute. Vinicius on the wing, Benzema unmarked. Again, cross comes in, Benzema heads it, Mendy can't do anything, the Bernabeu is on its feet, and Real Madrid score. And right now, we're still putting a fight. But in here, we knew we were out. At that moment, in the back of our mind, we kind of knew we were out. In a way, we knew that we're not coming back. Still, we had our chances. We had our chances. Havertz with the header from the Reese James Cross. He's been scoring every game recently. And the one game we really needed him to step up, he didn't score there. Jorginho with that chance. ZX shoots it. It lands at Jorginho's feet. And he just fumbles and he, he just messes it up. He's, he's straight on goal and he just kicks it, kicks, it, kicks it aside. And at this point, we know we've lost it. We really know we've lost the game, and of course, one twenty minutes done. Referee blows his whistle, and Real Madrid celebrate. Chelsea, don't Chelsea fans don't know what to feel. We put such an amazing fight, brilliant performance up till the seventy fifth minute, and then it just all comes crumbling. I I mean I would describe today as, if you want to feed a hungry man, you can bring food, you can cook it, you can even feed him. You can even make him chew and swallow. But whether that food is digested is not in your hands. Now before you tell me this is an absurd example, I don't care. This is what I'm trying to say is, we did everything in our power. But you know when some things are just a bit beyond what you can do? Those things did not go our way. Lots of referee decisions were a bit iffy. The handball especially... I, I, I mean, someone was saying when the game was going on that the, uh, there's a new rule of UEFA that even if it touches any part of the hand, any contact, it, it's a handball. To be honest, I mean, I, I guess that's fair, but still, you look back, when, when you think of this result, the one moment you look back to constantly is London's goal. If that would have counted, we would not have lost this game. Now, when I think of the fact that we won the, we won yesterday 3-2, all I can realise is the damage had already been done in the first leg. Because that, that's what I make out of the situation. So we're out of the Champions League, out of the Premier League title race, more or less. Two competitions where we expected to win, or at least, you know, fight till the end, where we're not till the end in both. Carabao Cup, we fought it till the end, but, you know, 11-10 on penalties. And now all we have is the FA Cup. Crystal Palace on Sunday? Sunday or Saturday? I think it's Sunday. Semi-final, if we win that and then we win the FA Cup again after after about four years, even though we should have won last year and the year before. Yeah, that's the only trophy we're going to get. To be honest, it's been a mixed season in terms of results. It's been a good... That we've had good spells and bad spells and good performances like these, but also disappointing results. I think all we can do this season is have a FA Cup victory, not bottling it like the last two seasons. Have a good FA Cup victory, finish third or second if if we can push it somehow, and just end it off in a good way. And new owners, whatever. I hope everything is. And new owners, whatever, I hope everything gets resolved and we can look towards a good window and see what we can do next season. So guys, leave a like if you enjoy, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I might start doing more Chelsea content soon, I just haven't done it for a long time, I've been more focused on FIFA. So I'll see you for my next video, have a nice day and goodbye. Also, I'm telling you guys, the next video on the channel is going to be such a video. I guarantee you have never seen on YouTube. So I'll see you for that. Goodbye.